Hopefully in 2023, residents of Mount Sena in New Amsterdam, Boebis, are able to have easy access to their homes and those who own vehicles will be able to drive up to their gateways. That is providing that their road construction makes it onto a shortlisted list of roads to be done across Region 6 in 2023 after the passage of the national budget. It's been quite a few years. I think we've been told the same thing. So I think it's, it's, quite, it's time now for the persons to, or the relevant authority to come into the area and maybe just take a look to see because they don't know what we're going through when the days come by. Many times we see they're doing dams, they're doing places, especially when they see Region 6. I think they should stop mentioning Region 6 and say quarantine because most of the time persons, when the ministers come, they visit quarantine, both from the the government and the opposition. That was one of the many residents living in the area. As it is now, slush which was cleared from a nearby trench has been dumped in the area, earmarked for a road, but residents call it a dam. Coupled with the slush from the trench and the cow hole infested stretch of dam, when it rains, it pours in Mount Senai. You see when the rain fall here, you see my children, all of them just walk out there. It's bare mud, bare mud. You're sliding down, you're falling, all mud all over the place. And I live in here three years now. These people live in here more than me. And it's hell at the back here. Alligator eating. Well, they clean the drains and stuff for us. So it's just basically the, 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 um, mm -hmm. the, the road. Well, we call it the dam. Right? So, yeah, please, please do some help. During our visit, it was a lucky day for parents and students as it did not rain so the dam was dry. One elderly woman said the wait for the road in the area has indeed been a long one. We asked the council, we asked the RDC and we aren't successful thus far. And so I think that um, it is time, you know, they help us to get this road fixed. If you notice the um, condition of the dam, when the rain fall, we see a lot of problems with the mud and stuff. We have school children and them stuff going out. Sometimes they've got to come out, be their feet, wash out their foot when they're done, you know, them kind of things. So we concern is that if we have an authority responsible for this, could render some assistance to we. After speaking with the residents, we move a short distance over to the Regional Democratic Council office. There, we spoke with Regional Executive Officer Narendra Prasad, who was asked about the road for the area. All roads that lead to schools and health, health facilities will be done. Um, that's a directive by President and Vice President to ensure, uh, in our assessment, all those roads um, that lead to school and health facilities will be done. And that has been captured, uh, Mount Sinai Road has been captured in this current assessment. There are roads to be done in all parts of Region 6. Pasada explained that an assessment was done following a cabinet outreach to the region at which 96% of the complaints raised had to do with roads. In addition to the roads done by the Regional Democratic Council itself, an additional 268 roads have been identified for construction and or upgrades where necessary. Another list is expected also to be produced from yet another assessment which will start shortly, Pasada explained. Those works have been done by both the Ministries of Public Works and Housing and Water. For Big Smith News Watch, Leroy Smith.